Welcome back. Our statement today reads, Calculate the potential of a uniform polarized sphere directly from the integral formulation. Things to know for this problem. The potential in the integral formulation is V of R is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times the volume integral of the polarization P dot it with the separation unit vector. A little hindsight can give us some foresight. What was previously found was the electric field inside and outside a uniformly charged sphere. All right, so for the solution, let's first understand our configuration. They told us that there was a uniform polarization in the sphere, which means that we can take that polarization outside of the volume integral since it is uniform and dot it, dot it with the vector product of the integral. Now, this term in the bracket ought to look familiar. Let's go back to chapter 2. This is precisely the field of a uniformly charged sphere divided by the charge density rho. And again, we found that back in chapter 2, which was a very long, monotonous calculation evaluating this integral explicitly. So to save time, let us just divide the electric field that we had found and listed on the note page by the charge density rho. All right, so on the next slide, we see that we have the term in the brackets equal to the piecewise definition of the field. But instead of having Q enclosed, we just simply, multi we simply substituted in what Q enclosed was, which was the volume times the charge density rho. You note that the rows cancel in both of the terms in the piecewise definition, and the volume, again, is of a sphere, so we just plug in 4 thirds pi r cubed into the piecewise definition for the volumes, and we'll see a lot of cancellations in the second line, thus leaving us with the third line, which is simplified down, and now we can substitute this back into the potential formulation from the previous page. So when substituting it back in, remember that we have the polarization, which is a vector, and we need to take the dot product with this term in the bracket. And that's what we do first. We list the dot product, and then we take it. That polarization is dotted with the r hat in the first term in the piecewise and the r vector in the second term. The only difference in these results is that because you take the dot product with the unit vector, the magnitude of its result is 1. So here we get P cosine theta. When I take the dot product with the R vector itself, I have a magnitude of R. So I get PR cosine theta, and thus we see the potential.